Today on Buffy's Home Decorating, you're going to learn how to decorate your mailbox for Christmas. And everything that we're using today is from Walmart and we have a special guest. It's my dear friend, Lisa Peters. She is a home decorating expert, a fashion extraordinaire, and a floral designer. And we're so blessed to have her today. And she's also the founder of Win Networking Nashville. So welcome, Lisa. Thank you for having me. It's very nice yes. to be here today. Thank you. I'm Lisa Peters and I have the honor of being on my dear longtime friend Buffy's home decorating videos today and today as her intro said we're going to decorate your mailbox for the holidays in easy steps so it doesn't have to be hard and you're gonna look like the glamorous mailbox on the street so step one is choose your garland so um, Buffy went out and bought all of this of course we mentioned from Walmart and so hurry up because Walmart's got it going on this year with some really beautiful holiday decorating. She picked up two different garlands and we are going to take the garlands, mix them together when we're out on the um, street and show you how to decorate your mailbox. So she picked up two, so you're gonna get some texture and some fullness and some whimsy on your mailbox. So this is step one, choose your garland. All right, this wire um, that's easy to work with is a 22 gauge wire. Normally I would use a green wire, but at, at the end you won't even see the silver wire. But wire comes in either silver or green. You can add a little whimsy to your mailbox by adding some loops and lifting to make this all fit on here. Step two to decorating your mailbox is accessorizing with floral picks. So at Walmart, we found some really beautiful, this is in the, this ornament with the pine cones with the gold on them is found in the long aisle that has the $2 ornaments. So you can go through there and see if there's some accessories that you like off the ornament aisle. Yeah. These are genius. Whoever created these for Walmart with the Holiday Time brand, I've always um, wired my pine cones together. They put a clippy on there, time saver and security, so your pine cones won't come off. Now, um, also some really neat um, faux picks for your mailbox. And remember, always take the time to fluff. Bend, make sure that it's always going in the right direction. It doesn't like you just, you stuck it out there, you know. So anyways, here's one a little more of a nature look, a little more natural, really beautiful. And then here's one with a little more glitz and glam. You've got your um, glitter gold, um, little pick of glitter gold balls. And then this one looks like a little snowstorm came through and you've got your red berries on there. So this is your, step two is accessorizing your mailbox with holiday picks. And really, you just get in here and find a secure spot for them and start adding them. And it makes it really easy when you start building one on the other. Add a little white, because that'll kind of make this pop. Now remember, we're gonna add a bow, so we don't wanna put these where um, you don't wanna block the bow. And then number two, remember, you're gonna wanna put this on the other side so that you can see it coming and going. Step three, ornaments for your mailbox. And they had all of these Christmas um, bells in all colors at Walmart. So you can choose different looks. This one's a little more of a shiny. This one's a dull finish. And then cute ornaments can also be attached to your mailbox in a different height so you can get a really beautiful look on your mailbox. So step three, choose some ornaments. Step three, add your ornaments to your mailbox decoration. We'll attach this pine cone. Remember this was found in the ornament section for $2. We're gonna go down low so that we can see it. And you can use your garland because it has a wire in it. 
Then we'll add some gold. Again, I'm adding these down low because remember, we're gonna have a big, marvelous looking bow here in a little bit. We're gonna take this guy up a little bit high because this is an odd number of three, which always looks really great when decorating. So we'll put our bells up here high. Hey, Buffy, your mailbox is starting to look good. Step four, attaching your bow to your mailbox. Now, Buffy found this uh, pre-made beautiful bow at Walmart, and if it was me, I would put the bow on both sides because you want people to see this holiday, the love, um, cheer on both sides when they're going up your street and coming down. So I would put this on both sides. Another thing that um, she found while she was over at Walmart, guess what she found? True Christmas red velvet ribbon. So it's under the holiday time uh, label, 18 feet of velvet ribbon, and it's really, really pretty. And so she found that along with a variety. Red pops, you'll always see red on wreaths, on doors, on mailboxes, it pops. But if you have a little um, different flair, um, there's no rule about decorating your mailbox. It's your personal. She found this uh, really cute buffalo plaid, some glittery gold, some glittery red, kind of a linen look. Now you can mix it all, which is really fun and give your own personal style. I love tartan plaid. I'm a fan of it, have been for years. And so a quick way to make your own bow is literally to make a loop, pull it to the center, and pinch. Pull this out and fluff. Take another one, pull it to the center, and pinch. Repeat this process and you will have a beautiful bow for your mailbox. Pull to the center and pinch. You can then attach your wire around the center and you will have however many loops you want on either side and you'll have a big fluffy bow. If you want to add a little more pizzazz, which I would love to do, I would take this gold and put it behind and now your red's gonna pop off of your green garland but using the glittery gold too and that will be really festive for your mailbox. So why do we even decorate a mailbox? because you're like, it's out on the street, who cares? It starts out when people start pulling into your driveway to come celebrate the beautiful season of Christmas. And so why not start when they first pull in? So anyways, step four, attaching a bow to your mailbox. The most exciting part is step four, add your bow. Remember I talked about adding the gold or a different color to coordinate or to pop your ribbon? We did the gold mesh. Remember, this is all from Walmart, very exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and add our gold mesh bow right here on the top. Okay. And we are gonna do this on the, on the other side too so that people will see this loveliness both sides. So already the gold is really pretty, but when you add the tartan plaid to it, it's just gonna make it really pop and make it look so festive. And Buffy, you've got the prettiest mailbox on the street, so fun. And I kind of pull my ribbons down to kind of shadow each other, you know? And if I wanna keep them in place because of weather, I will uh, wire them together. Tonight, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna lay them on there and you get the idea. And then we bring the wire around so that we can wire both of these beauties together. Two best friends, tartan and gold. Okie dokie. And tighten it up because weather will come. Like here um, where we are filming, we are having storms tomorrow. You do not want to lose your mailbox decor out to the street. So you've got to make sure that everything's secure. And you'll feel it when you kind of move it around. Fluff your bows, your, um, your little loops you've got to make sure they're all pulled before you have your party or your christmas make sure you go out and freshen it up make sure everything looks perfect really pretty also with making bows for mailboxes they're big they're big loops you want them to be showy they're outside so you don't want it to get lost and so um what do you think this is your mailbox buffy merry christmas my friends
And that is it, how to decorate your mailbox in four easy steps. If you like this video today, please give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell to be notified of future videos. I wanna wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas, full of love, peace, and joy. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.